This is the second in a series of three tutorials on how to draw figures simply. This time we're going to draw the figure from the side and we're going to draw the figure moving. I'll show you how to work out the position of elbows and knees, etc. I'm not drawing the head in any detail. I'm just using the oval to represent the head because I've done, I've drawn heads in other uh, videos which you can look at. Now, the idea is to get the correct proportions. We need to measure the head and we come down three times. One, two. So that is the length of the body down to the uh, pelvis. So I'm just going to very simply pop in the uh, the neck, we're going to curve out slightly for the chest and down and we're going to curve slightly for the back, curve down to approximately this sort of shape. So you've got this almost like banana shape. Um, and then here going to draw a circle. That measurement is half the height of the body. And as we learned from the previous video um, on drawing proportion, the pelvis to the knee is half that distance. That's where my knee is going to be. So I can draw a circle round about here. I can get a very simple my knee shape. So got my knee about there. That is halfway. Then I know that I can turn that measurement down there. So that becomes the rest of my knee down to the ankle. And then we can draw the foot here. Remember the foot's about the same size as the head. Uh, don't make it too small. So just have a simple foot about that sort of shape. Now the second part of the figure we simply use this as a pivot because remember everything pivots around the hips so I can simply bring my curve around so if you imagine now my other knee would be approximately here pivots around that point measure it to just make sure you're the right sort of size and I can join that up very loosely to start with okay so we've got a shape there I know that's the position there so I can bring that one down here so the other foot's going to be approximately here um, so I can bring my line approximately here this time we'll draw the foot bent Oops, something along these sort of lines Maybe put that slightly bent as well who knows okay so we've got that basic shape there now we learned from the previous video that um, the shoulder to the elbow comes down to the waist and the waist is approximately here so that's where the elbow will be so I can now pivot along that line you see so if I want the elbow here for example then I know I can bring my lines down here because it's the same distance as from elbow to wrist so I put my fingers there and I know then that my arm is going to be approximately in this position okay I draw a simple hand on the front there we go the same applies down here as well like pivot the arm so it comes out the back so an elbow may be about here I get my elbow there so all I need to do now is to just uh, go around this just to tidy this up a little bit uh, again I'm not going to draw the face properly I'm just going to draw an oval shape just so we've got the right sort of size for the head we can put the neck on the chest the back will curve around and around bottom here it's the top of the leg that's where all the muscles are this curves out slightly slight curve here again we're just representing very simple shapes here this is very much about just getting the basic proportions right put all the detail on curves down here we've got a slight curve comes out there again for the leg and same with the arm here we've got the shoulder curve around for the top of the shoulder curve along the back here maybe this curves in maybe slightly curves out curves down to the elbow uh, to the wrist and approximately there yeah, maybe just represent the hand very simply for this exercise and again curves out round curves in and down so we've got very simply basic shapes as you can see here by the time you've got hair on the head and everything else it all looks in proportion okay so you can see there how we've worked out how to draw the running figure in proportion using simple basic shapes i hope you enjoyed this art tutorial and if you've got any ideas for topics i can cover in the future for you please get in touch also if you want to see the very latest paul Priestley art tutorials don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Cheers.